Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to share my experience of using iPadOS 18 on iPad mini 6 which is probably the only category of iPad which is not trying hard to be a computer but Apple hasn't updated it since 2021 so we should see one by end of this year so with the A18 or A18 Pro chip that would also go into the iPhone 16 series so it would be coming in September and this mini 6 it has got the A15 chip which went into the iPhone 13 Pro with the same 4 gigabytes of RAM as today's iPhones are growing bigger in size this mini has been neglected but this is one form factor that you can comfortably use during travel okay so let's see how iPadOS 18 works on this including some new features except the Apple intelligence which should only be on the M series iPad Air and Pro by this September. Now I'm gonna take you through five most important features that we get with iPadOS 18. So first one is home screen customization. So when you click on this so you'll get an option to customize the home screen. So there are uh, multiple options so you can have a dark icons theme or like you can have automatic and even the wallpaper you can change from a uh, dark and a uh, light one so depending on what kind of theme you are using and so I can uh, choose large or small icons so with large icons you don't get the text below and I can tint it so I can make some uh, Godzilla theme like this but yeah like uh, <laughs> So according to your uh, taste, you can customize all the icons just like how you have the material UI on Android. And so uh, according to the wallpaper color or something like that, so all the icons, it would look uniform in this way. But uh, I prefer it more in a, a dark theme, the dark themed icon, something like this. And I wish many developers, they implement the icons which can have the dark and light theme. So also you can resize the widgets so uh, directly you can resize the widgets which are capable of resizing and you can uh, arrange the icons in whatever place you like so you can have a blank space according to your wallpaper. Now coming to number two the control center so the control center is completely redesigned so it's more customizable again and but I had one issue wherein I had this mobile data and personal hotspot hidden so I have created a separate one so that is the level of customization that you get and in the second one you are having the music so you can control music and in the third one you can control all your home devices so everything is arranged in its place so you can categorize the things and you can have like multiple pages of uh, control center and uh, there are a lot of uh, ones which we can customize also so this is a welcome move and number three is a revolutionary calculator app yeah you heard it right so right now uh, there are three things which we'll come to later so this is the basic calculator so earlier we didn't have a, a home uh, i mean a, a built-in calculator in ipad so now you finally get it but it's completely a uh, game changer so this is the scientific mode again this we had earlier on iphone also but now it's on ipad but and the this is the new thing so you have an inbuilt uh, converter so that's very useful and the star of the show is this math notes so this is the reason apple delayed this calculator app so now i can do all these calculations so 2 plus 5 7 it gives me the answer directly like that and now i'm writing okay so it already gave me the answer for psi 90 so divided by cos 30 i'm getting the answer so all these calculations and even graphs we can get directly from here and i can assign uh, values to some variables so a equals 15 b equals 23 okay c equals i can do some operation like a plus b and what is c i'll get the answer and also it will remember the value of c so i can do c squared so i'll get the value of c squared so all these calculations graphs so everything you can do with with this math notes and you can use it in school or something coming to number four is the notes app improvements so you would require an apple pencil to completely enjoy the ipad experience so let me open notes app and bear with me i have a bad handwriting but the ipad can understand my handwriting so i'm writing something over here and it's converting into text directly so this is happening pretty seamlessly and uh, so uh, yeah so as you can see it is uh, giving me the correct 
uh, thing so i can just copy and paste it somewhere or like i can take down the notes something like this and another new feature with ipad os 18 so with uh, ipad mini 6 gets this option so it's called smart script so it will correct the handwriting so if it is pretty bad or like if it is uh, uh, not in line so it corrects it up and if you don't want uh, and if you want how it's before so you can obviously change that this is again pretty much helpful like if you are into note taking in your college or uh, somewhere like that and you write it in fast so all these things can be corrected then and there itself so as you noticed so that th this it cleaned it up so let's see okay this it got it wrong so uh, if you i mean like uh, when you click on this so you can just uh, uh, suggest you something and you can change it to what it suggests or like you can obviously erase it another party trick is now you, you have a live transcription in notes app so when you go to notes you can see a new button over the top so when you click on that this is a test audio and it prints there and one more thing so we can share our screen and we can have share play which was introduced in the last ipad os 17 but here it works really well and also like you can share your screen so once you click on this so you can share your screen so when you click on this and you can control the screen also like if you uh, have some elderly parents and if you want to make some settings change or uh, if you want to assist them so you can do this so right now as i'm scrolling here so you can notice it on the phone so it is pretty smooth and there is no much lag and also i can do this interactive uh, note session so i'm writing over here and when i click on this collaborate option so i can collaborate the notes from the both the devices so both of us can write something so as you can notice uh, this is really helpful like if you are uh, doing some uh, planning for some trip or something like that so again another neat feature is so when you uh, also like you can annotate the thing so if you want to click on something so you can do that but one of the thing which i don't like with the ipad os 18 or even the ios 18 is the photos app so it is more cluttered now and but there are some ai features but the preview window is uh, gotten a uh, bit uh, lesser both in the portrait and landscape orientation which i don't like and the clutter which introduced with the ipad os 18 uh, photos app i like the old one so a plain one so next in safari we have got the uh, readers view so uh, there are um, other multiple features in messaging app we have messaging reactions and so on so you can refer the ios 18 video which i'll link up in there so this is the uh, readers view so you can change uh, different things so you can concentrate on the subject which you're reading so you can change the theme and also you can make it read it to you so that's a welcome change and here is a sneak peek of siri 2.0 a beautiful animation which we'll be getting soon so now let's see how the ipad os 18 works on ipad mini 6 so this uh, ipad mini it launched in 2021 but uh, after that there is no ipad mini so this is the latest ipad mini so here uh, the ipad os 18 it really works well so there is no lag or i didn't expect uh, or like i didn't get any uh, kind of slowness or something like that so it is pretty smooth and every app it opens up uh, pretty much instantly so this doesn't have a m series processor but uh, it's a a15 chip which you got on the iphone 13 pro which is plenty powerful for the application so you can uh, see the scrolling thing so uh, let's i mean we'll not get the apple intelligence though so that's only for the m series processor but still you get all the other features which is announced for the ipad os 18 so you can see the scrolling thing so it has that uh, jelly effect so which should be corrected in the next uh, ipad uh, mini 7 so it's still doesn't get the 120 hertz promotion it's still a 60 hertz screen but it's pretty much good so it's a laminated display so it's not like the 10 inch ipad the regular one so uh, that is one good thing so all the apps even the third party apps so there is no issues with the third party apps and everything work uh, works and opens up faster and uh, 
even though when i uh, load the ipad with multiple apps so there is no uh, kind of delay or something like that all the third party apps and the first party apps so everything it works really well so let's try out some games shall we so uh, this uh, ipad os 18 it's got something called as game mode so as you notice there when i switch on the game it turns into game mode and with the game mode the bluetooth connectivity is also, also improved so it instantly connect to the airpods or the controller which you would be using for gaming so let's see how the game performance so let me click on this and let me resume the game so this is gta san andreas a og game so it loads up pretty much fast the a15 chip it's still uh, a pretty powerful chip so as you can notice it's pretty smooth and i'm getting almost like more than like uh, 30 frames per second so it's really good for gaming and its form factor so everything the ipad mini 6 is really a great device now that we saw the real world performance let's test out some synthetic benchmarks right now with the geekbench 6 cpu test so as you can notice i am uh, i'm running ios 18 and i'm going to run the cpu benchmark test and boom we have the results so we we are getting pretty decent score 2000 something on single score and 5000 on multi-core so this is really a decent numbers so let me check the history so with the beta one i was getting 2000 something and now it's 2100 so it's more than what i was getting with the ipad os 17 so that's really a good thing going forward so now let's test out the gpu performance so the gpu on this is really good so i'm getting somewhere close to 19000 so this is a commandable figure so let's again check the history so as you can notice again with uh, compared to the beta 2 beta 1 it's uh, in the marginal error uh, range so that's really good now if you ask me how to install this ipad os 18 beta so you have to go into software update so once you are into software update you have the beta updates option so once you go into that you will be getting the ipad os 18 developer beta once you check mark that and if you come back boom you will have the ipad os 18 beta and you can just uh, download this option so when i click on the download so it will ask for the passcode so once you enter the passcode it starts downloading so it's as simple as that now which devices would run ipad os 18 the ipad mini 5 and 6 so coming to the regular ipad from the 7 gen and later so here the 7 gen has 810 fusion chip but the ipad pro 10.5 which has the 810x chip so that doesn't get the ipad os 18 which is a sad thing so if you have ipad pro 2018 and above so that would run and ipad air third gen and above so that would run the ipad os 18 and apple intelligence that's only available on m1 ipads and later so now finally to the conclusion so should you get the ipad mini 6 now i would say please wait for the ipad mini 7 why you ask me okay so let's compare so if you are someone with the fifth generation ipad mini you still get the ipad os 18 but the mini 6 so some of the features which are not there is the mini 5 and the mini 7 it's gonna have apple intelligence so now if you want a regular ipad i would say go with the 10th generation regular ipad it's fine and if you want slightly higher so you'd be better off with the fifth generation ipad air than the m2 so the m1 it's pretty good you'll get apple intelligence and all the things so you can go with the fifth generation ipad air so now if you want something outrageous you if you use it for your work so then you would require ipad pro so then i would suggest going for the m1 ipad pro still but if you want the latest apple pencil the apple pencil pro and if you want to use that then you you should skip the fourth generation and go for the m4 ipad pro it's the m4 chip is really powerful and i would say it's uh, it's the true next generation m series chip so the m4 chip is a marvelous chip so you can go with that if you are using it for the work and if you are earning out of your ipad then you can go for the m4 ipad pro so that's all i had in this video thank you for watching subscribe for more videos like this and as always stay safe and peace